At the Padres, they take game two of this series against the Tampa Bay Rays. 2 nothing win. I was kind of surprised to see Blake Snell pitch that well. Um, I thought that maybe there was a chance that he was going to pitch really well because of that motivational factor, like to show the Rays, like you made the wrong decision. You shouldn't have parted with me. You shouldn't have took me out of game six of the 2020 World Series. And you definitely saw that motivation. I mean, the first inning, he was pumping like 98 a couple times in that first inning. The first four batters that he had, strikeouts. He finished with 12 punch outs on the day. I believe that's tied for a season high. Two hits allowed. He walked three, but two hits only allowed. Didn't give up any runs. And he was a huge reason why the Padres were able to come away with this win. I mean, he's facing a Tampa Bay Rays offense that is one of the best in baseball, period. And he shut them down. So huge props to Blake Snell on his performance for today. And he is one of the aces of this Padres rotation right now. Him and Michael Walker. I think Musgrove's been doing good too. Like those are the three best starters, I think, right now in this Padres rotation. And Scott Boris, I know this is down the road, but Scott Boris, he's going to be looking at other teams, you know, sitting across from them in these meetings representing Blake Snow, and he's going to pull up this game. Look at Blake against the best team in baseball. Look what he did. He can do that for you. So that's the long ways down the road, but that's going to happen. That was the type of performance that you use uh, in these, you know, free agency negotiations. I know it's one start, so he has to have a larger sample size, but this is one of those where it's like, yep, that's on the highlight reel. Um, so great job out of Blake today. And then offensively, you know, they went, what, Ofer with runners in scoring position, but they were able to get those two runs across thanks to a little bit of luck, but some good situational baseball and, yes, small ball. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of small ball all the time. Like, there's certain situations for it. And today, I thought they used those situations, or it was the right situation to be doing small ball. Um, three straight bunts. Kim reached. Grisham was a bad bunt, but he got lucky. One of the lucky plays in that inning. Gets to first. Tatis bunts. Now, right there, I'll admit, like, right there in the moment, I was like, why is Tatis bunting here? I know that it worked out, but why is Tatis... I'm not going to have Tatis bunt here. So was that Bomel's decision? I don't think so. I think he's just going to have one of his best players go up there and swing the bat when there's already a runner in scoring position. So if it was Nando's decision, I guess I have to applaud him. I mean, I want him swinging the bat more often than not, but when you're, you're struggling as a team with runners in scoring position and you have... Blake Snow, who's pitching really well, you have a bullpen that you're confident in, that's a situation where let's just get a run across here. And that's what Tatis helped do there because if Tatis would have, let's say, swung away and grounds into a double play, okay, now they have two outs in the inning and there's a runner on third, okay, but the Soto sack fly to center doesn't mean anything. That would have been the third out of the inning. So that was huge. There was second and third with one out in that spot. Soto takes a ball to center, scores a run, now, Padres got lucky again. You know, Manny has a grounder and uh, the Rays third baseman. He ends up bobbling it, and Manny is able to reach. Uh, brought, on, brought in another run, and that run was Trent Grisham, who got lucky with the bunt. So, hey, sometimes when you win, it's partly because of luck, and that was that today for the Padres. But they did deserve to win the game pitching-wise. Blake Snow was phenomenal, and obviously the bullpen behind him uh, I believe it was Wilson Martinez Hater didn't get up any runs, obviously. So look, I don't think that was like the most encouraging win. Definitely not the most encouraging win offensively, but they got the win. Like at this point in time, you're facing the Tampa Bay Rays. Just get the win any way you can. Doesn't have to be pretty, especially after like last night and just the season overall. Like where the record is right now, you just got to get a win any any way you can. And I'm sure on the show tomorrow, uh, fans, and I'll probably criticize uh, the offensive performance still, but they still got the win. Bottom line, they got the win. That's all that matters at the end of the day. Um, so Padre fans, I think we can be happy for tonight because mainly because of the pitching side of things. 
Um, and we'll see what the offense can do tomorrow in the series finale. Padres, if they can win tomorrow, I think we're going to, or at least the players are definitely going to start feeling much better because they said, hey, we just went and beat the best team in baseball. Um, and maybe that could start something. But, you know, we've been saying that maybe they can turn it around. Maybe they can start something. We've been saying that for weeks, maybe months even now. So they've got to prove it on the field, right? Uh, but for today, good win. We'll see what happens tomorrow in the series finale.